Oh, hello. Good evening. It's dark in the car park. Not too cold, though. Um, it's uh, 10 o'clock, I think, on a Monday evening. Um, and I've just come to a limitless screening of a new horror film called Smile. I feel like I've watched loads of horrors this year, like loads of new ones, and it's been fun. Um, so I'd seen a couple of trailers for this. I decided to give it a bash because, like I say, it was a limitless. It was a members-only screening this evening. Um, holy moly. <laughs> I said to a friend, it's an 18th certificate, which worries me because 18th certificate horror films are quite rare. Um, I totally get why it's an 18. Um, it was good. I liked it. I mean, liked is a weird word to use. Um, but let me attempt to nutshell it for you. Uh, so it's called Smile. It's written and directed by somebody called Parker Finn who I don't know, but whose work I will be interested to check out in future. Um, the lead character is a therapist, psychotherapist maybe. She works in like a hospital, um, emergency care for psychotic patients. Um, she is called Dr. Rose Cotter and she is played by an actress I didn't recognise. I've just looked her up. Her name is Susie. Well, it was S-O-S-S-O-S-I-E. Sozzy? Suze, is it still Susie? Who knows? Surname Bacon, guess who our dad is? Um, I had to correct myself the other week because I was talking about, um, I did a video of like retractions where I'd like made mistakes and I talked about Jack Quaid and I couldn't remember why. He was in Scream earlier this year, also an 18th certificate horror film for very good reason. So um, Susie Bacon's parents are Kevin Bacon and Kyra Sedgwick. And now that I know that, I can definitely see her mother right now. Not so much her dad, but I can definitely see her mother. Um, so right at the start of the film, she has a patient come in um, who is not known to her, is clearly having some sort of episode, and then kills herself in quite dramatic fashion in front of Dr. Cotter. And this then starts a chain of events whereby she starts to realize that somehow this is a curse that's passing from person to person. She's the next one in the chain. So as a concept, it's quite simple. It's very creepy. And the common denominator of this entity or this whatever it is that they are seeing is that it looks like people they know but with this absolutely manic smile on their face and that is going to haunt my nightmares like I'm definitely going to see that face in my dreams um it is very gory a lot of the deaths are quite graphic um it certainly doesn't hold back on the gore it's got a few good jump scares in. Annoyingly, the majority of the jump scares were in the trailer, which is a bit, yeah, annoying. However, what it did mean was that I could see them coming and I didn't scream my head off in the cinema because I have been known to do that. Um, when I came to see the black phone earlier this year, I shouted one very loud F-bomb because I just got startled and shouted out a bad word. So that didn't happen during this film. It was very tense. Towards the end got maybe a little bit silly um, and went sort of down a road that a lot of horror films seem to go down when I'm just a bit like, really, we're going to go there, we're going to do that. But I can't say I wasn't gripped. Um, also stars uh, Kyle Gallner, who was known to me because he was in Veronica Mars. Um and we all know I have the mad love for the Veronica Mars. Um, and then a few other folks as well. No really sort of big names in it. Oh, it had Cal Penn in it. I like a bit of Cal Penn. He had a beard. He was uh, her Dr. Cotter's boss and looked sort of quite serious. And not like he was in Harold and Kumar anymore. Harold and... Was that what they were called? Harold and Kumar? Doesn't sound right, but maybe it is. But yeah, uh, Cal Penn was in it. <laughs> few other people are in it so there's some fairly horrific stuff in it i'm not gonna lie 
not for the faint of heart but it was about two hours long it whipped along nicely it was edgy it had you questioning what you were seeing quite a lot um like i say susie bacon who i've not come across before was very good in the lead um and yeah it was it was it was a cracking little horror remember when i came to see bodies 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 which was my last limitless screen and i said there was a dog snoring in the chair behind me yep same dog also snoring in the chair behind me um he's clearly some sort of support animal um and this time i saw the owner but um yeah i had a dog snoring behind me which is always a delight um and also really just odd when you're in the cinema watching a creepy horror film um you just don't expect it but yeah clearly this dog only comes to limitless screenings so it was nice to um sit near them again nice to watch an edgy little horror of a monday night um, if you enjoy horror films, do check it out. If you don't, absolutely avoid it like the plague. It will scare the crap out of you. That's it. I'm done. Katie out.